Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video with me. So a brand new event has come upon us and of course that means there's a brand new costume for one of the divas and of course a gacha banner for them as well. As you can see on the screen, there's a lot of Min Mei around so <laughs> you can guess who it's for. Um, anyways, the current event, um, if you guys aren't familiar with the style, it is what we call a Kuji event or uh, some to others it might be considered the mission event because you have to clear missions to obtain um, bonus score or yeah so but for me I call it the Kuji event because the reward system requires uh, Kuji style knowledge um, so that's why the main bonus factor of this event is considered a Kuji format uh, anyway guys let's talk about the current event first and what uh, you should take note of uh, on this event because there is a special requirement um, or rather a special difficulty challenge um, that occurs when you're playing the life of a song as you can see the danger button is glowing so let's tap that take a look and I'm gonna explain to you what all this red Japanese text is all about basically that's the danger or the challenge that you're gonna face while playing the song uh, or other songs in this current event now when you're playing the live okay this is what is gonna happen basically if you miss any notes during the live you are going to take double or more amounts of damage uh, than you usually would when you miss a single note so with that said what how you should how should you actually set up your divas for this current event well all you have to do is just equip an episode plate for your center diva and its center position or rather the first episode plate on the center diva have an active skill that helps you maybe um, recover HP or maybe um, prevent combos from breaking or even helping you improve the accuracy of your taps so these are the three active skills that you want to take note of when you are playing the current event um, the rest of the episode plates I will highly recommend you guys to have a full set of luck based plates because Lin Min Mei's costume for this current event is unlockable free if you work hard at playing at this event obtaining all the two star plates that are given free um, whenever you um, finish a live there's a chance that the yellow stone notes will turn into the free episode plate that, that it can be gotten through this event songs now those episode plates do give points for Min Mei's costume so if you don't really want to spend singing stones on the current gacha banner uh, and obtain Limin Mei's costume via the hardworking way this is how you do it basically have uh, lots of episode plates with the luck factor in it and of course giving you more chances of appearing the golden yellow notes uh, within the live itself alright with all that said let's move on to the main um, content for this video which is basically the brand new gacha for Lin Min Mei as you can see Lin Min Mei's gacha banner features the main costume that is obtainable um, from the event songs episode plates itself um, yeah so if you want to take a look at the costume details let's take a look here um, we're gonna talk about the costumes effects so total and life increases by 3% up now it doesn't seem like much but if you think about it her costume increases the total stats you know for the diva and improves the life of your diva stats so for the current event that's going on this costume is definitely very very beneficial uh, in terms of maybe surviving the song or um, maybe helping you to survive an extreme difficulty song that you wish to practice on uh, to get that full combo and of course clearing those missions that require you to clear full combo on an extreme difficulty song so guys the costume itself is very very useful in that sense uh, 
in general use, I think it is pretty useful as well because it does increase total score. But there are costumes out there that do give a higher percentage in terms of total score. Um, or maybe I'm wrong, you know? But who knows? Um, the basic stats for uh, the first costume that you probably unlock in the game um, for any particular diva do have a 3% up in all stats. Um, so I guess that is almost equivalent to this costume but just that this costume has that life increase as well. So with that in mind guys, I think Lumi's costume is definitely worth unlocking. Uh, it also is a very nice looking costume, very very classy. Um, with the winter style jacket and of course the very frilly skirt and of course the long boots that she wears very very nice very very stylish I love that scarf though that, that, that scarf with the embroidery on it that's very very nice alright um, let's move on and talk about the episode plate itself is it actually worth your singing stones and money if you actually purchase any singing stones from the online store uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the episode plate for Lin Mei. Straight away we can see that there's a 3,399 total score focusing on charm. So as you can see, voice and soul doesn't really have much of an increase. So charm is the main key factor. Now with this scene, um, you can actually guess what kind of episode plates you need to have equipped on your divas for this current event's uh, main song. Um, Basically, just need to focus on charm and you'll probably do very well with the high score factor uh, for the missions uh, you need to clear. Alright, center skill. Unit's life increases by 40% up. So I guess a lot of missions probably for this event is going to um, be related with your survival on this song. So maybe it requires you to clear the song with maybe about 80% HP or more. That kind of thing. Um, so yeah. Um, active skill, let's take a look. Life recovery of 50% up. So this is probably the best percentage of um, recovery you can actually get from any active skill out there. So yeah, so it is sadly to say it's not a score boosting active skill. So I guess Lin Mei's plate is more to a support type um, episode plate. Uh, even though it has a very fantastic healing active skill so I guess it's a universal type based episode plate. Alright, life skill. With S rank, at the 30 second mark for 7 seconds, your score is increased by 80% now. So, not the best life skill out there, but it does have the 80% up, which is a generic number for most life skill support plates. But the, sadly to say, most of the multitasking episode plates nowadays have very short duration periods. So guys, even the old episode plates out there have better longer durations, probably 14 seconds is the best that we've seen so far. So with all that in mind guys, and including the last page, so I need to say no special notes attached to this episode plate. My opinion to you guys, unless you are Lin Min Mei fans, give this gacha banner a hard pass. The plates in this current gacha is not worth your singing stones at all. Um, probably except this one, which is clap clap. Because this is the only episode plate that has the special notes attached to the episode plate itself. So guys, um, sadly to say, if for Linimin Mei fans, I know you guys want the episode plate for its image. Well, the image is already given to you at the beginning commercial for Linimin Mei's brand new costume called Nostalgia. Um, yes, her costume is called Nos Nostalgia. <laughs> so anyway guys, um, if you're looking for the images for the episode plate, they, they were at the beginning commercial when you load up Uta Macross um, when the brand new event started. You could have uh, screenshotted those images and then you've gotten yourself a very nice desktop wallpaper right there. So don't really have to spend your singing stones on the current gacha banner uh, unless you're a diehard Lin Min Mei fan that really wants every single episode played out there that belongs to her. Go ahead and pull the banner, but for anyone else out there, if you're playing Uta Macross as a hardcore player, I highly recommend you to avoid this gacha at all costs. Yeah, so um, looking at all the rest of the episode plates, of course there's this exclusive ones 
for Lemon May as well. Um, so yeah, with all that said, I am going to do a template pool. Actually, this is not the first template pool I've done. I have actually done another video before this one, but apparently the recording didn't go through. So I am spending another 500 singing stones on this current gacha banner for your you guys' entertainment. Um, luckily, this is my brand new account. As you can see, it is on the rank 14. It's not my main account, so therefore, whew, I. <laughs> I did not waste a whole time, a whole bunch of seeing stones just like that. I, yeah, so anyway, guys, let's do this one template pool, and that's it. Hopefully, this second round will end up seeing better stuff than the first video that did not go through. Um, if you're wondering what did I get from the first video, I had no Valkyries up here, I had two red boxes, and well, basically, that's the end of the story. There were nothing. There was nothing fantastic at all. I did get one of the brand new episode plates that belong to this current Gacha banner. Um, so um, I did see the pop up notice for Lin Min May's brand new costume as well. So hopefully, this second pool will do better. So one Valkyrie, it's not doing any better, guys. Oh wow! I did get a five star plate though. Oh, <laughs> that was unexpected. Okay, let's skip all the common stuff. Okay, we have the 5 stars straight away. Yeah, I got clap clap! Okay, this brand new account seems very usable right now. <laughs> um, I'm not sure whether I want to keep it though. Uh, yeah, because I do have a video um, series that I have in mind um, that requires a brand new account, so... Maybe I might I might link this account to a email that I'm currently using. Um, that is a spare, and probably load it back whenever I need it. Um, yeah, so who knows? <laughs> okay, so we do get some awesome stuff here with the second video recording. Cut cut is a fantastic episode plate. Um, I highly recommend you guys to get it. Uh, it's definitely a required plate when it comes to tackling the first event of the month, which is the ticketing event, which is always the toughest event to handle out of the three events in the month. Uh, so guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys find this information very useful. As always, do let me know by hitting the like button and of course commenting down below what you guys have in mind regarding this brand new event and all the other stuff that maybe you want to ask me about. And do share the video to your friends out there who are also playing with Harm Macross. And subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!